This is uh, Sister Tech. For all you people out there know, this is one of the people who are wrote, written about the Pharisee and Eve. Here she is. Straight from the Israelites' mouth. You thought I was going to say horse, didn't you? That she is. Right there. Tell me, are you afraid? No, sir. No, sir. Do you live in fear? No, sir. Are you in a slave labor camp? No, sir. <laughs> she looked pretty happy to be in a slave labor camp. <laughs> huh? Think about this. Now, tell me, tell us and the people out there on the other side. Because, you know, we're going to shame this ugly Eleanor Roosevelt. Sports Illustrated. That's an ugly ass woman. Damn, she ugly. Brother Gavin had to be the one to send me the picture, too. I said, Dad, I could have lived the rest of my life without looking at that picture. Man, it's nightmares. And she can't stop smiling. That's what's. <laughs> All right, Tech. Yes. Check this out. Could you. Tell all of us how you came to the ministry. Um, I saw you on YouTube, and I was watching you. Now, wait a minute. We didn't come out recruiting you? No, not at all. You know they call us recruiters. We go out recruiting people. But nobody ever says a damn thing about the Mormons. <laughs> they get a hands-off attitude about They recruit Nobody says nothing about the Seventh-day Adventists. All the Jehovah Witnesses. What? They are recruiting actively, but we ain't recruiting. But we get charged for recruiting. See, two of them out. Now, y'all see the reason why I say, look at the devil, and the devil is a. Okay, come on, Tim, talk your mind. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, oh, yes, I was watching you on YouTube, and. Um, I didn't even, I called here when I was 17. Oh, you called here? Yes, I called. We didn't call you. No, you didn't. But you called here? I called here. At 17? Yes, okay, sir. come on. And um, I spoke with, I remember speaking with Elder Becker, and I wanted to come out here once I was 18, and I didn't even tell my mom like that I was following or anything, but he was like, well, the least you could do to honor your mom is tell her about the ministry and tell her, you know, what oh, you, do. you mean to tell me that Elma Becker said the least you can do to honor your mom is to tell her about the ministry. Yes, sir. See, the more we talk, the more the devil is alive. And, and, and not only that, the more we talk, the more you find out who are Satan's Serpents. I have put the emphasis on that. You find out the more who are Satan's serpents. You see, because the devil don't want the other side being told. Only inside. To persuade and sway the minds of men. That wouldn't you consider that to be on? At least tell your mother about the ministry. Come on. Um, and I didn't want to, but... Why didn't you want to tell your mom about the ministry? I was bitter towards her at that time. Oh, And I true. didn't want to tell her. She was bitter towards her. Why was you bitter? Just a lot of different um, unresolved issues. Okay, you don't go in detail. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Sir. All right. So, if, if my memory served me correctly, and I'm, my memory about that long, did your mother put you out of the house? Yes, sir, she did. Hold on. I know the reason why she put you out of the house right now. She put you out of the house because you were whoring around. No, sir. No, she sir. put you out of the house because you were eating too much. No, sir. No. She put you out of the house because all you did was stay on the cell phone and the computer. No, sir. No, sir. 
She put you out of the house because you kept sneaking out of the house so you could try to go to the club with your friends. No, no, sir, not at all. What'd you get put out of the house for, Tammy? I got put out of the house literally because I wanted to serve y'all. Seven day Adventists. Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> y'all and y'all Ellen G. White, Jezebel. Because she wanted to serve God. A doctor got put out of the house. You can't do nothing about natural retardation, but spiritual retardation, that's a serious problem. What mama would want to put her daughter out of the house for being covered, want to keep the commandments, and serve God? So where did you go after that she put you out of the house? I went to my grandparents. With the grandparents. Oh, by the way, when did I first see you? I was 18 when I first. 18? Yeah. And where did I see you at first? was um, fellowship at Straightway Georgia. Straightway Georgia. She'd been listening to me at least for a whole year or two before she even laid eyes on me. She saw me and uh, Mother Carol, she just broke down. What was it me and you? Sorry. Me and something, she just, ah! <laughs> She came to get her to me. <laughs> And since then, her mother has been trespassing on the land of Straightway, Georgia, when they wasn't, wasn't there. She's done called the law up here two or three times on, on us for a welfare check. I said, we're going to find I'm glad you didn't ask You know how many times we done did this, right? Ain't everybody interested in my welfare? Hell no, pass it out, kick rocks and die. So anyway, I said, come on, tell me to the front gate down there. They cops came and asked us a question. You hear me on the court. You're doing all right. Yep, yep, yep. Bye. So the other rules then took her to court, her mother. She's in there crying about her daughter that she put out of the house. This is worse than God and light. All my children, as the world turns. <laughs> you can't make up so problems like this. Man, this is, hey, y'all, Hollywood, we got the perfect show for y'all. We got the show. So they don't move them get the court. Of course, you know, with dad, she, had, she went and bought her a turn. To, to make it all end all, it's like this. She kept talking about Tammy. How old is Tammy? And how old are you now? 19. 19, the judge says, uh, uh, that this is over with. This shouldn't even be here. Bye. I bet they can write about that in Sports Illustrated. Tammy, it's your own choice. Are you interested in a relationship with your mom? No, sir. Now, it's just as much as it may give us an admonishment or how to rear and raise children. It tells parents, provoke not your children to anger. Did I miss something? And it's talking about it in a righteous way. This, she is serving God. Uh, uh, Tammy, you want to leave the gate and swing both ways? You can leave me in there? No, sir, I don't want to leave. No. You don't want to leave it? No, I don't. What if we want you to go? No. No, 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 no. Amazing. More she wants more than anything, 
is for her mama and her wicked ass family to leave her alone. As y'all can see, she's got nothing but good counsel from us. Since when is it an indictment to be holy? See, if her parents would act like Scott's and Angelica's parents, y'all hear me? As an example, man, they welcome. Every time that we hear them come, we get excited. Both sides. In Nelly's family, the only one I want to see is Pops. To help her damn mama, I can't stand her mama. I said, she ain't ever coming back here again. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Dad, he come all day long. Now, can I invite you to the house where I want to be? Just totally dishonor us. And we supposed to pull up with that dishonor? I wouldn't go to your house and dishonor. So why would you come here in this office? You know what I'm saying? What happened to morals? Tammy, you got any closing statements? I just want to say that, um, Pastor, you and all leadership, y'all are really good. And you only ever told me to respect my mom, to honor her. And it was like no matter how much I would try to get to through her head, like, I, regardless, or if I was never told that, I wanted to just leave. I didn't even want to tell her where I was going. I was just going to go, period. But because I was given the counsel, you know, you need to talk to your mom, obey your mom, tell her. It's like she would not understand. The only reason I was still there past 17 was because of you all's counsel to, to just get my relationship right with my mom and I'm grateful for that because when I did leave, I did love her and I knew I did the best that I could to be a good daughter to her. Okay, so we're not here recruiting young women to get married to old geezers like me. That's the night. We're recruiting old, you know, young women. See, first of all, so the charge of recruitment is out. That's why we hope we're going to sue your ass. All the defamation is just, it's sad. Isn't it? Now, what all do you people do? Because I know y'all out there listening. You remember Daniel said last night, he had somebody talk to him about it. So what about the SI? I hope y'all listening. That's what he's going to do. See, now you've got to surgically remove the foot out of your damn mouth. But believe in all that trash and garbage. Don't y'all know Satan and his operating procedures, how he does things? Somebody in this earth has got to be submitted to him and his will. And this is the children of the devil manifested in the children of God. So, guess what, Mom? You ain't never going to get no advice from, from, not from me to her, to honor your funky ass. She did have it. We was leaving. We can't do it now. So goodbye, good riddance, and so the hell off. You messed that up. The Christian church does a hell of a lot worse than this. Thank you very much.